to Saturn, long a favorite among amateur astronomers. Saturn has been known to Earthbound sky watchers throughout human evolution, but its most obvious attribute, the gorgeous ring array, lay hidden, awaiting the innovation of the telescope until 1610, when Galileo Galilei spied them and sketched them as cup handles. It was nearly 50 years before Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens explained the strange features as a system of rings. These regal leviathans like to encircle themselves with ring systems. All four of them have rings, each ring composed of an astronomical number of particles. The particle sizes go from the finest powder that you might ski on in Utah, all the way to boulders or agglomerations of boulders as big as houses. But how did those ring particles come to be there? Well, there are basically two theories. One idea says that the, the ring systems of the giant planets formed by a, an orbiting satellite that got smashed up because of an incoming projectile of some sort. The fact that they have extensive satellite systems says that there is fuel for the ring machine. If you collected all the mass in Saturn's rings together, you would get a satellite that's roughly the size of Mimas, between 350 and 400 kilometers across. The other view is that a body from the outer solar system, let's say the Kuiper Belt, strayed too close to Saturn and got torn apart. So giant planets tend to have both things going for them, regardless of which camp you believe. They can either attract impactors to smash up the satellites that are there, or they attract the bodies which are in fact the progenitors of the ring systems themselves. The gas giants are themselves the products of tidal gravity. Think of them as condensed droplets of the primordial mist that built the solar system, now puffed up from within by warm updrafts. The outer solar system planets have immense atmospheres dominated by hydrogen and helium. These are the lightest element gases that one can have. Saturn's density is very low. Yes, it's true what you might have heard. If you had a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float. Like its brother worlds, Saturn can stir up terrific typhoons, on average, probably once per human lifetime. This one, called simply the White Spot, appeared in 1990, just in time for astronomers to swing the Hubble Space Telescope onto it. And we have found, as we've investigated all the planets in the outer solar system, that uh, the winds on the giant planets change at different latitudes. Uh, they go, they blow at different speeds. Um, there are very energetic winds. The winds at the uh, equator on Saturn, for example, blow at some 1,100 or 1,200 miles per hour. 